hey, so this Google Suites has multiple AI engines and you can use whatever engine is best suited for you. So for example, if I wanted to use OpenAI, then I would just select OpenAI and then start processing the sheet. And you would notice that all the outputs are being generated by using the OpenAI models. And OpenAI models has like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. So let me cancel it for now. And if I wanted to use the cloud model or Gemini Pro or Grow Cloud, I would just select them. But this time let's use cloud. And if I now start processing, then all the outputs will be generated by using the cloud models. In this case, we are using the Cloud 3 Sonnet model, if you see. And for OpenAI, we used GPT 3.5. We also have other options. And again, we also have other options here. So yes, this is very flexible and you can use what whichever models you want to use. So let me show you how exactly it works. Yes, the script has been finished. And let me delete all the outputs and start the setup from the very start okay so i have written i have some data about face like we have gold face in the first column and then i'm co comparing the gold face with other face in the second column if you see and now i have used the prompt it's a simple prompt you can uh, have a very complex prompt as well but i'm using it uh, like this write a 40 word answer to the question can uh, this a2 means goldfish live with b2 uh, the beta fish in this case and if i drag it down it will generate the prompt for uh, like all the different rows in this case there will be a goldfish live with guppy in this case goldfish live with angelfish uh, oscar neon tetra if you see again i have written the second prompt here provide me with five differences between a2 and b2 which is goldfish and beta keep all the five differences in html format html ordered list format and i have this second prompt here now let's start the setup for that first of all you'll need this uh, a script that i have written and if you see you'll have to come here and then make sure that settings seat whatever you have named it for example in this case i have named it settings one and the relevant data sheet is data one but i can name it anything for example i can na name it output output one or anything basically just output so i'll have to update it settings one and then the data one will be replaced by output yes i'll just save it and you are done now you'll have to come to this settings sheet and then update uh, all the information first of all you'll need the apis for example, I have put my API, OpenAI API here, then I have put my Cloud API here, I have put my Gemini API here, and the Grow Cloud API here. You you can get the APIs uh, by clicking here, like for OpenAI, you can click here, and then it will take you to, to the API page. And I have some basic additional information about what these are. So in this case, we want to start processing from the row number two, and then we want to start like process till row number six so i'll just write that process from row number two and then process till row number six then prompt columns like enter prompt columns if multiple separate separate the by commas so i have multiple prompt columns right like i have the prompt column one and then prompt column two so let's uh, look at it one by one for prompt column c i want the output inside the column d so I'll write just that C and then output for that is will be inside the column D again for the prompt column E I want the output inside the column F so I'll write just that again but this time prompt column is uh, E and then I want the output for E column inside the column F so for C it will be D and the for E it will be F and it's set up basically if i want to use open ai and if i want to use the gpt4 model i can select the models here and if you need more creativity you can uh, increase the temperature and the max tokens is how long the output you want for example if i make the max tokens only 100 
it will only generate about 70 or maybe 75 words in per 100 token so basically i do not modify these like if i want a longer output i would just specify in the prompt uh, that uh, write a 40 word answer if i wanted a 100 word answer then i would just write that and it's set again for the cloud api you can uh, select uh, put the api here and then select the model uh, in this case we are using sonnet but you can use opus or haiku as well you have again the like temperature max tokens and system prompts which is also here similarly for gemini and then grok uh, cloud and you are set you just have to come here and then start processing so if you want to process seat one then you can just click here and it will uh, start generating the outputs if you see we are using gpt4 right now the best thing about the script is that you can have multiple seats as well for example for settings one and then output we were using uh, let me show you open AI but for I have another data set and in this case I want to use cloud and you can do that as well for example I would just duplicate the settings here and let me put it here and in this case I am naming it settings 2 so I just named it settings 2 and for that the data is is in data 2 right so I'll have just have to come here in the script and then i would need another function so let me copy it i'll create a function name process sheet 2 and then in that the, our settings sheet name is settings 2 and then our data sheet name is data 2 in this case and i'll write this process sheet process sheet 2 and uh, yeah it's done and in the menu if you need one more item then you can just write process sheet process sheet 2 just like this and select on open right now in, if you see in the menu it will only show process sheet 1 and then process all seats but you have to select on open function here and then run it and once you run it you will notice that all uh, like this is also being shown so let me come to this data sheet and the prompt is in the column b and then i want the output inside the column c and in this case we want to start processing from the row number two and then process till row number eight so let me add all the details from two to row number eight let me delete it i, I have the prompt inside the column b and then i want the output inside the column c so it's set up and in this case we'll be using cloud so if you notice if i run it uh, like from here the process seed 2 then all the outputs will be generated by using cloud but if i uh, run the uh, like process sheet 1 then we have selected open ai in this so inside this output column all the outputs will be generated by using uh, the open ai so it's very flexible and uh like let me select it gpt 3.5 so that we have like quicker outputs in this case in the settings one sheet we are using open ai gpt 3.5 in the settings two sheet we are using cloud cloud 3 sonnet and one uh, like you can also click on this process all seats now all the seats will start processing at the same time so basically you would notice that you will be getting outputs here as well and you will also be getting the outputs here after you finish here let me show it it gets finished okay now outputs inside this sheet will start generating so this google sheets is like a script is very flexible and you don't have the limit basically you can add uh, sheet 3 sheet 4 and multiple combinations in the same google sheets and you can also set it to run in the background so basically for that you'll have to come here inside the triggers and you can uh, add a trigger you'll have to select the function so right now if you want to select uh, like you want to process all seats you can select process all seats button function and then you'll you can uh, select it time driven then 
uh, like minutes timer and then you can set it to run every 10 minutes or 30 minutes so basically if you have a free gmail account you can sell, uh, set it to run every 10 minutes and if you have a paid google workspace account you can set it to run every 30 minutes and you can just save it and it will keep running in the background and it will keep processing all the rows that you have so yes i, I think i have explained everything about how exactly it works uh, but if you have any questions or queries or doubts you can uh, ask them in the comments and you can also check the script inside the description so yes this is for the video and see you in the next video